Hello and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now over 14 alien ruins have now been discovered. And we'll talk about that in a short while. But first I'd like to talk about a recent update that's going to be coming out soon called The Commanders. And this update's going to include multi-crew, where you're going to be able to board each other's ships and help each other out in various situations. As well as multi-crew of course, we're going to be getting the pilot customization, which won't really be a big game changer to the gameplay itself, but it will be nice at least to give our commander its own identity. Frontier are currently doing live streams on both of these new features, so I'd definitely recommend heading over there to check them out. At the moment it may just be the character customization, which definitely looked impressive. And I believe the next stream will be on the gameplay of the crew aspect of the game. So then back to the alien ruins, which I believe with the character customization coming soon we're more likely to run into the aliens then. As it would make sense for the aliens to actually have their own character model themselves, but that's just me speculating. So as I mentioned earlier, 14 alien ruins have now been found, so so much for the maybe being 6. Also good news for people that were struggling to find the ruins, now if you're a thousand light seconds away they will show up in your galaxy locations, which I will show when I arrive at these next lot of ruins. So I was looking for planet 1C then, and I was trying to get my coordinates down to 19,000 to minus 141,000 roughly. So this was roughly where I needed to drop out. So once I had dropped out, there the ancient ruins were in my destinations, so all I had to do was lock on and follow that which is a great improvement from Frontier, as people were getting very frustrated with finding the ruins. And it's obviously made it a lot easier to find new ruins now. So then these ruins were set out exactly the same as the first ruins that we came to. All locations for these ruins are now being added to the Elite Dangerous Forum, so you can find a list of them there. After having a brief look around here, I am actually going to be heading back to the bubble. So in my next videos we're going to be taking a look at some of the engineers, which will include being able to upgrade the FSD drive, upgrade weapons, along with a few other things. I will also be keeping on top of any alien news. But until then, don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one.